Hi y'all, this is Lori with Rose Joy Designs in Cornelius, North Carolina. And uh, behind the camera today is my business partner and mom, Carolyn. So you will be seeing her um, on this side of the camera some, and I'll be on the other side. But today I'm going to be um, doing a tutorial on Dixie Bell's Gilding Wax in Gold. Um, thank you for joining us for this tutorial, and if you would like to subscribe and like us below, then you will receive notifications as to whenever we update, upload new videos. So let's get started. For this little piece, we've decided to accent some of the detail with gold gilding wax, and it's been painted in Dixie Bell's Silk Mineral Paint in Comp in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Dixie Bell is running a campaign through the end of this month that for every piece painted in a Dixie Bell pink color and is posted on Facebook with hashtag paint pink out, they are donating $1 to breast cancer research, up to $5,000. Gilding Wax is oil-based and it does not require a top coat or a sealer after it's applied. It will dry to the touch in four hours and cure completely in 30 days. If you decide to apply a water-based product over top of it, you will need to wait three to five days. There are six metallic colors. There's gold, silver, copper, bronze, and zinc. And um, it can be applied with um, a paintbrush, um, a cloth, uh, your finger, and even a sponge. Today we're going to be using a paintbrush and my finger to apply the gilding wax. So we're going to get started with the gilding wax in gold. We're going to open it with a paint can tool or a screwdriver, whatever you have handy. I'll pop it open. And ours is still pretty new, so the consistency um, is really good. But if for some reason yours is getting older or some air has gotten to it, um, you can pour a little bit of mineral spirits in and then stir it up really good and get it back to this good kind of creamy consistency that the gilding wax is. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a little bit on, on the stick and then we're going to put it on... my little work surface, just a little bit, because a little bit really goes a long way. You can use this for, for a very long time. This little can goes a long way. Now we wanna make sure that we're covering it back up and we're popping it in to keep the air out of it. And then to get started, glasses, so I can see what I'm doing, I'm gonna put a little bit on my finger. So even that might be a little too much, so I'm gonna dab it just a little bit on there. And then I'm gonna take it to the edge and I'm gonna highlight the edges of this leg just to bring attention to the beautiful curved legs. Get a little bit more and tap it off. And then I'll do the same thing down here, all up and down. So say you have put it on and you're not happy with it. I actually think this might be a little too heavy. I like how this one down here is a little bit lighter. Then we are going to use a cloth that has mineral spirits on it and just very lightly rub that off or wipe it off. Don't rub it. I actually rubbed a little paint off one time. So just very gently wipe it off. So then we have this down here that looks really nice and then once that's dry we can go right back over that with the gilding wax. Not only can you use the gilding wax and is it great on wood but it's also great for metal and so we're going to be using it on the hardware that we're placing on this. So we got this really pretty bail pool that we thought would look really pretty on this piece although it was a little shiny and brassy for the look we're, we're going for. Um, because the beautiful gilding wax in gold is like a muted gold, we decided to use it on the hardware to achieve that. 
and I've already done it on one of the ends just so you can see a before and after. So this one, this one here is the one that we've already done and we will demonstrate on this one how to um, apply the gilding wax on metal. Because it's on metal and because it's gilding wax, you will not need to top coat or seal this. So this should be the last step um, as um, the last step in applying anything that you need to to be able to put the hardware in. All right, so I already still have some gilding wax um, left on my little palette here. And I'm gonna start out putting my glasses on again so I can see here. And I'm gonna dab a little bit on my finger again and then dab it off just to get some of the excess off. And then you take your hardware and you're just going to use your finger to go around and color it and highlight. Then go back and get some more. Dab off a little bit. And then I want to go all the way around. Look at that beautiful color. You see how it's highlighting and it's still going to give it an aged gold look. And then I'm going to do a little bit more and go right here on the center, get that shiny brassy color. So now I'll take my brush and just get a little bit on my brush again, dab it over on the side, get any excess off. There's some areas on the side here that I couldn't get with with my finger. So I'm gonna use a brush to go in and get some of that. You don't have to do this. I just like to add a little bit more metallic luster to the detail. And then if you wanna color in any other little areas, you can do that with the brush. Let me get a little bit more. And there we go. So now I'll hold the two up together and you can see how beautiful they are. Thanks so much for joining us today. Here's our finished piece. Stay tuned for some close-ups of the detail and of the hardware that we use the Gilding Wax Gold with. Don't forget, if you have any Dixie Belle uh, pink pieces that you've recently painted, you can post those on Facebook and don't forget to use hashtag paint pink out to help raise money for breast cancer awareness. Also, don't forget if you haven't subscribed or liked us, please do that. And we will uh, post a link below for you to be able to find your local Dixie Belle retailer. Also, if you have any questions, don't forget, just put them down below and we'll be happy to answer them. Thanks so much. Stay tuned for our next one.